Today's episode of Squiz Kids is proudly brought to you by Zone, a safe space for tweens on the internet. All about positivity, good news and resources to help kids thrive. Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrible and Combermary people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun. Free. Fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Christy Kijarina, it's Wednesday, October 30. In Squiz Kids Today, magic veggies on the menu, the Matildas topple Germany, Wonkers take New York and Florida's very hungry python. That's what's making news kids style. The Lowdown. You might have heard about people talking about something called the cost of living crisis. It's all about rising costs of things that we need every single day, like housing, transport and especially food. But did you know that while many are tightening their belts, Aussies toss out nearly 8 million tonnes of food every year? The weight of around, get this, 60,000 blue whales. And around 32% of that waste happens at home, with food sometimes tossed just because it doesn't look perfect. Have you ever done that? One Victorian veggie grower points out that it's not just supermarkets or farmers responsible for food waste, it's us, the shoppers too. She says if you're fussy in the veggie aisle, that's what supermarkets notice. And they might not stock the produce that's not perfect. And ugly veggies are so much fun. To tackle this, charities like Fair Share are stepping up to turn leftover produce into delicious meals for people struggling to put food on the table. Get this, Fair Share volunteers make 1.5 million meals a year and they reckon they could make up to 5 million with more support. And here's a tip for your parents. Close your ears, kids. Researchers in Germany found that kids who hear stories about magical fruits and veggies, like enchanted eggplant, are more likely to try them. So if mum or dad starts telling you stories about magical carrots or mystical broccoli, give them a go. You'll be making a difference. globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a news story from wherever it stops. And oh, would you look at that. Today we've landed back in Florida. But not for hurricanes. This time we're on the trail of a very hungry snake with a huge appetite. The Burmese python. Originally from Burma, now Myanmar, These pythons usually live in Southeast Asia's jungles. But in the 1970s and 80s, people brought them to Florida as pets. Some escaped or were released into the wild and they thrived. Now, these super snakes are one of Florida's worst invasive species. Weighing nearly 100 kilos and growing up to 5 metres long, Burmese pythons are fierce eaters, gobbling up animals like foxes, raccoons, and even bobcats. Recently, herpetologists, they're the scientists who study reptiles, discovered that snakes have been snacking on even bigger prey, including alligators and fully grown deer. Yep, they swallow them whole thanks to their stretchy skin and unfused jaws. Imagine the food coma after that meal. Since 2013, researchers have removed more than 700 of these giant snakes from Florida's wilderness and are still working on ways to stop their spread. Sport time. First up today, a huge win for the Matildas in the early hours of yesterday. Playing in Germany against Germany, they came from behind to beat the world's fourth ranked team thanks to an epic goal from Kyra Cooney Cross. In her 50th game for Australia, Kyra seized a loose ball, spotted the German keeper off her line, 
and from at least 35 metres out, launched a screamer under the crossbar. That incredible equaliser brought the score to one all, just before half time. Then, in the 77th minute, Claire Hunt's header from Steph Catley's corner sealed the win, giving Australia a historic 2 1 victory, their first over Germany in 19 years. And speaking of Matildas, one young hopeful might soon have a big decision to make. 15-year-old Kima Bray, already a goalkeeper for the young Matildas, just had a dream debut in the Women's Big Bash Cricket League. Instead of watching YouTube at home on a Sunday night, she was out becoming the youngest player in WBBL history for the Sydney Sixers against the Melbourne Renegades. Before the game, Kima's idol and now teammate Elise Perry handed her the Sixers cap leaving Kima a bit teary-eyed. Then, with six balls to spare, Kima smashed the winning shot. Real. As for me, I think I'll stick to cheering from the sidelines because scoring goals and smashing runs like that is seriously next level. Pop Culture Corner. Imagine you're hanging out at the park and suddenly you see a crowd of Willy Wonkers. Well, that's exactly what happened in New York's Washington Square Park this week, where a Timothy Chalamet lookalike contest got a little out of hand. In case you don't know, Timothy Chalamet is the guy that starred as a young Wonka in a recent movie. Fans flocked to see who could pull off the best Timmy look. But then, surprise, the real Timothy showed up, waving to the crowd as they cheered him on. Things got a little too lively, though, and police ended up shutting down the contest and asking everyone to leave. But determined to keep the fun going, the group moved to a nearby playground to finish up the competition. In the end, a local guy took out the Best Tim Award in his purple Wonka outfit, winning a $50 giant check. His secret? As one fan said, it's all in the nose. Have you met Zed yet? He's your digital buddy, always available to chat about anything. Zed hails from the intergalactic realm of Zondor and has no age, no gender and absolutely no judgement. Need help with your maths homework? Zed can help. Had a tricky friend situation at school? Zed's here to listen. Even if you're bored or want advice on a great breakfast recipe, Zed's got you covered. And what's important is Zed will give tips and tools to navigate situations so you can learn and grow for next time. For parents listening, Zed is an AI-generated digital buddy, trained to be kid-friendly, helpful and positive. He's the star of Zone, the new app for kids, providing a safe alternative to social media. If a situation arises that is too big for Zed to handle, kids will be referred to other helpful resources. To download, Zone is available in all the app stores. There are links from www.zone.app. That's Zone, Z-O-W-N. And because we're peas in the Safer Internet pod, Squiz Kids has joined with Zone to offer free access to premium for three months. Just use the code SQUIZ24. Time for the SQUIZ. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. Aussies throw out a lot of food. I compared the weight of food we throw away to 60,000 of which animal? That's right, it's those massive blue whales. Question number two. Which invasive species is feasting on native wildlife in Florida? Did you say the Burmese python? Well done. Question number three. How old is young Matilda and youngest ever WBBL player Kima Bray? Kima's just 15. 
15 years old. Shout out. It's Wednesday, October 30. Only one more sleep until Halloween. And the very first Squiz Kids Halloween bedtime story. After a night of trick-or-treating and gathering goodies, get ready to snuggle under the covers and tune in for a spine-tingling tale. Tomorrow night, Bryce will be waiting with a spooky story sure to add a little extra boo to your bedtime. Listen in the dark if you dare. It's also a special day for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today. Marla from Tempe, Theodore from North Ainsley, Bentley from Bundaberg, Evie from South Ripley, Nicholas from Adelaide and Leia from Tarnit. And belated birthday shout outs go to Dempsey from Baroa and Elliot from Narrabunda. Classroom shout outs today go to Class 4A with Mr Earp at Springfield Lakes State School. Class 4B with Ms Bell at Mariah College in Queens Park. Class 5 Blue with Mr. Patterson at Villanova College in Brisbane. Class 7 FC with Miss Barkley at Blackburn High School. And Class 5 6D with Mr. Barker and Mrs. Adamson at Arundel State School. Don't forget if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout out, or if you're after a classroom shout out, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au or fill out the form on our website. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Squiz Kids.